This is MATD1544 and uh, we're busy with the trig functions, the graphs, and uh, we're busy with the sine and the cos graph. And now we're going to look at the phase shift or also we also call it the horizontal shift. Okay, so that is when we move the graph to the left or to the right. Now, for the phase shift, it's really the best that we always put the brackets equal to zero. So if we look at this example, and we have 3 cos uh, 2x plus pi, and we want to have the phase shift, then we take the whole bracket and we put it equal to zero. And therefore, this phase shift will be minus pi over 2 which we will write as pi over 2 to the left. So if we have a negative, we write it as to the left. If we have a positive, we will, of course, write it as to the right. Now, in the previous recording, we got used to how we must uh, plan our graph, our drawing. And there's actually just now the one one difference that we must pick up and that is this phase shift so once again uh, we see that there was uh, nothing added here so um, it was just 3 cos 2x plus pi there's nothing added there and therefore um, that center of us will be zero the vertical uh, shift or the vertical vertical movement was nothing it was zero therefore our center position will be zero now to look at the, the the three in front if we look at the three in front then we know the amplitude what is the amplitude value of that so it's the three and if we take now our center position plus the three we will get our maximum position which is three and if we take the vertical center position plus minus the 3, so the central minus the 3, we will get to the minimum, which is minus 3. And then our period will be 2 pi over the coefficient of x. So it's 2 pi over 2, which will give us pi. And the intervals will be that pi divided by 4, so it's pi over 4. Now, in the previous examples, all the previous examples, we started at 0. The only difference is now that we're going to start at minus pi over 4. In other words, we're going to start at our phase shift. So, so our first x will be this phase shift, which is minus pi over 2. And then from that minus pi over 2, we will add our intervals. So we will start at minus pi over 2, add pi over 4, that will give us minus pi over 4. Add another pi over 4, that will give us 0. Add another pi over 4, that will give us pi over 4. And add another pi over 4, that will give us pi over 2. So once again, our five points. Now this is a cos graph, so the cos graph must start at the top. So here at minus pi over 2 it must be at the maximum position which is 3 so if we prepare the five points then then at minus pi over 2 we must be at the maximum position at minus pi over 4 we must be at the uh, central position at uh, 0 we must be at the maximum uh, at the minimum position because sorry it's uh, it's a uh, top center bottom we must be at the bottom and then at pi over 4 we must be at the center again and then at pi over 2 we must be at the maximum position and there is our drawing so nothing really more difficult uh, if you understood the first um, recording um, this will actually be very easy for you because it's just that one extra movement which is the phase shift so let us look at the graph minus 2 sine 4x minus pi minus 3. All right, so our central position is going to be the minus 3. The vertical center minus 3, right? 
And then the amplitude is the absolute value of minus 2, so it's 2. If we take now that central position and add the amplitude, we will get our maximum position. If we take that central position and we minus the amplitude, we will get our minimum position. The period of this graph is 2 pi over whatever is in front of x, that's 4. So it's 2 pi over 4, so it's pi over 2. Divide that now by 4, that will give us our intervals. Now we need the phase shift. The phase shift is taking the brackets, the brackets there, and put it equal to 0. So in other words, we will have the 4x minus pi equal to 0. That gives us x is pi over 4. So it's pi over 4 to the right. So we're going to start at pi over 4. We always start at our phase shift. That's where we start. And then from that, we add our intervals. So we're going to start at pi over 4, then add pi over 8. That will give 3, eight, three over 8 pi. Then add again pi over 8, add again pi over 8, add again pi over 8. Okay, there is our five points, like we did in the previous recording. This is a sine graph. It should start at the central position. It's a negative sine graph, so it must move down first. So the very first point will be at the center position, then go down to the bottom, come back to the center, and uh, uh, so, so it's the central position, it's at the bottom, come back, back to the central position, go to the top position, come back to the central position. Remember, we said sign is central, a negative sign is central, bottom, central, top, central. So there we are, and now we can just plot those points, and uh, we can draw the graph. And remember, please, once again, to show all the coordinates here, because none of them are on any axis. There's the five points forming the butterfly, which of course are these five points. And once again, very easy for us to draw one period here. Okay, so I think what will be a very good thing is if everybody can go to 2712 and then just try for us number two and number six. And then we will look at this uh, later in another recording.